Hello, yeah, we are back. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't like me very much. I'm sorry. I try to be nice. <laughs> I try to be nice. I try to be pleasant, humorous, comical, entertaining. Okay, I I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a man. Let boys be boys. Okay, come on. If I'm mean and rude, because I'm fucking playful. Okay, I don't mean to offend you, but do I mean to? make fun of you yeah because i want to have fun i'm sorry if you are not having fun with me but i hope you do don't, just don't take me too seriously just laugh it off smile once in a while okay why 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 always serious why all serious all the time okay uh back in the days when i was in korea teenager okay um there was this tv program it's about having interview visiting the residence of all these interesting people extraordinary people and i remember seeing the television show i don't remember uh, the name of that tv show it's a reality tv okay kind of uh they visit people these producers tv show korean tv show they visit these people who are kind of different kind of people extraordinary people okay there are some in korea okay so one episode they feature they visited this residence of this pastor he's caucasian pastor bilingual i don't know whether he's from america or europe but he's a white guy uh aged gentleman in his 60s he's a caucasian gentleman he speaks fluent korean and some western language i don't know whether he's from america or europe or canada australia i don't know he's a minister missionary christian pastor okay so he invited this camera crew and he's this producer this tv show producer okay it's probably filmed in video not film film and video is the difference is video is like digital magnetic film is optic it's a plastic film coated with this silver dioxide whatever it use silver film okay it's more colorful more beautiful than video video is the magnetic is digital okay <clears throat> but lesser quality right so I think it was shot in video as opposed to film. Okay, film is more expensive because it uses silver, precious metal. Silver, like silver necklace, that kind of silver. Uh, yeah, they spray silver, some dioxide, whatever, silver oxide, monoxide, I don't know, trioxide. <laughs> some silver, they coat in a plastic film and that's film. Video is like magnetic type or digital memory hard drive whatever okay silicon so digital video that's a lot cheaper than film that's st strictly optic it's analog analog and it's more beautiful film more expensive more beautiful more colorful nowadays you have a red one red camera yeah digital camera that it came a long way over decades of invention experimentation so uh, nowadays digital footage is getting very close to this film footage a huge range of this color okay so I know this because I studied uh, filmmaking a little bit I took some classes when I was undergrad in I'll tell you medicine is constant okay yeah that's where I did my undergrad like mad is on medicine wisconsin i didn't make that up okay i learned this from other medicinians okay, so. <laughs> okay because i want my my background to be wrapped up in mystery because i want to guess i want you to be an ind independent thinker i don't want to give you answers I want you to find it out yourself. I want you to be independent, in the intellectually independent. I want you to be active, not passive learner. Okay. 
So that's why I don't tell you everything about me. I never tell you what the title of my movie is, my paper, what my real name is, what the title of my novels are, what's my pen name, with which I wrote, I published my novels. I want you to find it out yourself. Yeah, I want to play a game. Because I want you to be smart, independent, intellectually, okay? Find it out yourself. I, because I don't want you to be a passive learner. I want you to be an active learner, okay? That's educating skill. I want to be a good educator. Okay? I want you to be a good student, okay? So, so that's that. Anyway, so... This pastor, missionary, Caucasian gentleman, reverend, pastor, Christian, Caucasian, okay. He came to Korea, South Korea, I don't know when, maybe, perhaps, possibly before I was born. I, I don't know, but he speaks fluent Korean and some other Western language, I, I don't know what. I'm sure he speaks English, but in this documentary kind of TV show, reality TV show uh, he spoke only Korean and I don't know what language he speak. I don't know whether he's from France for France Germany Alemany or America Australia I don't know Canada I don't know he's a white guy in his 60s I think or 50s I don't know and he invited in this producer TV show Korean TV show producer and camera crew and he show around his house and he says, "Yeah, ho Holy Spirit lives in my lives in my house, and I have this contraption, this machine. Uh, they can prove it. They can tell. It's a gauge. It's a kind of temperature gauge, thermometer. They can measure the degree of Holy Spirit or presence, or maybe it's Boolean. Okay, yes or no. There's Holy Spirit or not." <laughs> Interesting guy, okay? Uh, but we believe that, I believe at least, our uh, Holy Spirit is with us, is in this house. Measurement, yeah, are we being inspired or not? Are we producing some, producing, discovering some good knowledge or not? Imma Nuel, okay. Uh, I don't know any Hebrew, but I know enough language to take on educational, educated guess. Immanuel. Imma. Imma. Nu. L. Nu, like nice in Brazilian or Portuguese. Yeah, whatever, European, Brazilian, Portuguese. Nu, nice. Or nu. In French, it means us, we. L is like the, like theism, right? Eli, Eli, Lema, Sabachthani. Jesus said, God, God, why did you abandon me? Eli, or Eliah, Elisa, Elisha, Eliah. L means God, okay? So, Nu means us. So, you have God, us. Emma probably means with in Hebrew. I don't know. I don't know Hebrew, but it's my educated guess. Knowing many languages. Okay, so yeah, Emmanuel, God with us. God is with us. Okay, uh, that's Emmanuel. Uh, because I know this because I, I'm educated in Christianity. Okay, so I think God with, is with us. Okay, Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as humanologists, uh, we don't 100% accept this Holy Trinity, the identity of God, Son, Holy Spirit, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. We don't think they are the same individual, but 
we do accept that they are on the same side, they are allies, friends, okay? So we partially reject and accept Holy Trinity doctrine in Christianity, in Catholic, Protestant. But recently from my friends, I learned that uh, Jehovah's Witness reject that Holy Trinity theory, which is kind of cool. Jehovah's Witness or Mormon. I don't know what's position of Mormon, okay? but I have good friends in Jehovah's Witness, LDS, Christianity, Catholics. My friends, they are everywhere. They are from everywhere. Okay, so. Anyway. I forgot to look for, look up this tangent period. So let me look it up right now. My cell phone is right there. We are living in an amazing age where you have the entire universe, entire world on your hand. Cell phone internet okay so yeah we are living in a good age for learning education uh i gotta mention this okay i read the news during the cigarette break and this north korea they condemned japan for all this japanese colonial period they kind of sided with south korea they have now come an enemy japan okay north korea and south korea they condemned this Japanese during the World War II era, this sex, slavery, kidnapping. So I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so. Oh, well. Just want to mention, okay, so. It's something that grabbed my, grabbed my attention in the daily news, in just being, being news. Tangent period. Probably spy, I think. It's not quite giving me what I want. Tangent function. Let's go to Wolfram Math World as opposed to Wikipedia because we don't want to be too addicted to Wikipedia, you know. We want some diversity, right? Ay, what's the period? It's not quite giving me what I want. Okay, let's go to Wikipedia then. No, it's not giving me what I want either. Period of tangent, yeah, it's pi. Okay, uh, that's Google. Yeah, Google is good. Sometimes better than Bing. Okay, so good. So we we can get rid of all this tangent garbage. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of curious, interesting that uh, sine over cosine, 
sine period of sine is pi cosine si, period of cosine is pi 2 pi period of sine is 2 pi uh, period of cosine is 2 pi or period of tangent is pi when tangent is sine over cosine that's kind of interesting okay so <sighs> whatever let's try to prove this shit okay so assumption is that p is more than zero and x rho p is r x is equal to pq plus r p is more than r and r is more than or equal to zero and q is q belongs to integer okay so that's the assumption uh, based on this assumption we want to prove this guy equivalence thereof uh, periodic, so periodic function theorem okay express in row algebra okay just like any mathematical proof you have a set of assumptions and you have left hand side right hand side the funny thing funky thing is that left hand side is an equation right hand side is an equation in the middle there's equivalent symbol and on top of that there's question mark okay so it's a little bit different, different kind of proof okay so we already assumed that x is equal to pq plus r okay it's like by definition you know. okay uh, x plus p is equal to uh, pq plus r plus p which is equal to p uh, q plus 1 is just algebra, right? You know, factoring. Okay, P, P times Q plus 1 plus R. Okay? So, X plus P, uh, we gotta conserve space because we want to, we want this proof to be one page, one whiteboard. We don't want to switch out boards because this shouldn't be too difficult to approach. But it's very fundamental, very abstract, very higher level, generalized, higher mathematics kind of very fundamental and uh, probably very important in the future. Okay, so <coughs> but there will be my prediction. Okay. Uh, okay, so row. x plus p p it's like logarithm okay kind of we know uh, is equal to it's like taking logarithm in both sides of an equation kind of okay we do not logarithm but we're taking row remainder okay by uh, periodic the theorem is what is x rho p okay we know that so the smaller left hand side is that and smaller right hand side is this okay okay so smaller left hand side so left side circle left circle is that right circle is this okay so p uh, no, they're not exactly the same thing. We are just taking row remainder of the right left hand side. Such a mess. Just let's we just say observe. Okay, observe. Observe this guy, okay, x plus p rho p by periodic theorem, p p subtract, we can call it subtraction theorem, because it comes up a lot, okay, so, uh, yeah, subtraction theorem is a corollary, a subset of periodic theorem, but because it comes so often, we call it subtraction theorem, okay, x plus p minus p, you know, yeah, x. Okay. Also, 
this right hand side okay so p q plus one plus r rho p this time by uh, PDIZ study theorem p times some integer okay you can multiply subtract it and this is r rho p okay But x plus p is equal to uh, p q plus 1 plus r. They are the same thing. So thus, x plus p rho p is equal to r rho p. Why? Because x plus p here is equal to uh, p times q plus 1 plus r from here. Okay, so we we'll call this equation string of equations. We we'll call it number 1, line number 1. Okay, by line number 1, these two things are equal. Okay? We are very close. We are getting very, very close, okay? So, one thing we did, one thing we didn't do is X row P, okay? Observe. We better use just comma. Uh, we don't want to have colon, semicolon, comma, period. No, we just stick with col not colon, two dots, not semicolon, dot, and comma. No, we use the dot and comma. We want to simplify things. Okay, so observe x row p is equal to what is x? pq plus r, right? PQ plus R rho P is equal to uh, by uh, this is like by definition, okay? Definition. By definition. This is by periodic, rho periodicity theorem, okay? Rho periodicity. We also have a Euclidean theorem. Rho pe Euclidean periodicity theorem, okay? And by rho period theorem, not Euclidean period theorem, okay, so this is R rho P, okay. Dot. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to make some foundation, some preliminary, okay? We call it preliminary or prerequisite periodicity function theorem, like PPFT, okay? Uh, 
I don't want to switch out the board. Okay, so preliminary periodic function theorem is this. Okay, so and we are not going to prove it. We we'll just explain. Okay, uh, f x is equal to f x plus p. Then if and only if is equivalent to fx is equal to fx plus kp comma k belongs to some integer k is some integer okay so why we are not going to formally prove it okay because we don't have time we don't have space because Periodic function is not the same as recursive function, by the way. Recursive function is like sine of sine x of sine x. Close parent, close parent, okay? So that's recursive function, okay? So periodic function is not the same as, as recursive function, okay? So recursive function is where its input is also itself, okay? That's recursive function. Look it up, okay? It's like positive feedback loop, okay? So that's the recursive function. It's feeding it to itself, okay? It is feeding it to itself. Like it's like you are eating yourself, okay? That's the recursive function. It's like very cannibalism, ego, cannibalistic kind of. Just kidding. All right, so. A periodic function is this, okay? Let's say, okay, x is equal to fx, fx is equal to fx plus p, right? What if x is x plus p? We plug in f of x plus p, and you plug in to that formula right there, then fx plus p, plus p, right? And then that, that becomes what? f of x plus 2p, okay? What if x is equal to input of this function is x minus 2p? Or x minus p? Or x minus my x minus one hundred p, x plus hundred p. You plug that in, then it becomes just k. It becomes very generic. Okay, so you can prove this using mathematical induction, whatever. Okay, um, bidirectional, bidirectional mathematical induction. Uh, yeah, we let's prove it. Because I think it's kind of interesting, but we take a break first, okay? So we'll prove this preliminary uh, periodic function theorem, okay? Because that's kind of important. So we'll prove it after a break, okay? So we'll grab some another whiteboard, okay? So yeah. Oh.
Okay, let's take a break from Netflix and talk about something else. Because you know, I'm 41 years old, I have many experiences, many stories to tell. So I want to share it with you. Uh, when I was in Midwest in law school, I didn't do any math, I mean, law school, law review, law school journals like my colleagues did. I didn't do any of that. Uh, in my spare time, I went to clubs, learn dancing. Okay, so Midwest, I, w I would go to Detroit, Michigan and go to this all african-american clubs i was the only non-black person there african-americans they're fantastic dancers they told me how to dance basically so uh and i danced with some african-american girls and i even kissed a couple of them okay so and it was quite not, it was not well received by African-American guys because it's like African-American girls, they are, they are like, they are future wives. So I kissed them and they didn't like it and I agree, I, it was not right. It's kind of adulterous because I'm stealing me, kind of being predatory, stealing, stealing their wives. <laughs> it was frowned upon, okay, so I'm glad they frowned upon me Because it was not the right thing to do, okay, so But African-American girls, they're beautiful uh, I have dated a couple of them Actually several of them In Georgia and also in Michigan, okay, so In Georgia when I was in the army and in Michigan when I was in the law school I just told you where I went to law school, the state I went to law school but that's fine. Okay. Shh. Okay, so I'm kind of hiding behind my vodka, okay? <laughs> vodka cough. So, um, I, I'm, I'm proud of where I've been to. My alma mater states I've been to, but... Uh, I always wanted to tell those girl, African-American girls, like, I love your skin tone. I love your skin color because it's that beautiful, like chocolate. Yeah, hot chocolate, whatever. The coffee. When I drank, I used to drink coffee, okay? I, I always drank black coffee. No cream, no milk, no sugar, just plain this bitter, suck, bitter taste. Like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, caffeine, whatever, okay? I used to drink like just black coffee. Yeah, so African American girls they have beautiful skin tone. I mean African American men or African people very beautiful skin tone. Okay, I know because they are beautiful. African men, women, they are very special people. And I just want to share that with you because I'm not racist. How can I be? I'm not even white. No. Asian girls, yeah, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, and they are beautiful girls. Okay, Hispanic girls, very beautiful. Okay, Indian girls, I've seen some amazing, beautiful Indian girls. Okay, so uh, not every one of them are nice. Have I ever seen some? Nasty Asian girls, yeah. Korean nasty, bitchy Korean Asian girls. I've seen them. Have I ever seen African American girls who are very nasty? Yeah. Have I ever seen white girls who are nasty and mean and bitchy? Yes. Good cops, bad cops, okay. Every single race, good people, bad people. Just to let you know, okay. Black people, black men. I've seen some bad black men and good black men. White people, same. Yeah, bad white men, women. Good white men, women. By now, I'm 41 years old. I've seen it all. Okay, so. 
Don't just hate somebody because of he's white, she's white, he's black, he's Asian, whatever, okay? Let's continue with this, okay? So, okay. Uh, yeah, we have PPFT, right? I think it's worthwhile to prove because I think it's something important, okay? So I've got feeling that this is an important thing. So let's exercise some diligence and we're gonna prove it, okay? Ah, man. Formally prove it. And I will have to write it down in my notebook too. Because I, I do feel, I've got feeling that it's kind of an important thing. Okay, so I prerequisite, preliminary, uh, periodic so the periodic function theorem. Okay, yeah, and I, I have to write it down in my notebook as well. We have plenty of time. It's Sunday morning. 8 o'clock now, 9 o'clock ish. What time is it? 8. Alright. We'll use red. Alright. Preliminary periodic function theorem, okay? F of x is equal to, assume f of x is f x plus p okay period function okay this whole thing is equivalent to okay then uh, f of x is equal to f of x plus kp when comma when k belongs to some integer is some integer okay okay so and we are not sure if this is correct yeah bi-directional yeah we have to prove both directions <sighs> but we are not going to we just prove one direction okay the other direction i'll leave it as a homework assignment for you proof Okay, this whole equation is left hand side. This whole equation is right hand side, including this condition. Okay, whole thing is right hand side. Okay, so proof. It's about indexing. Okay, x is some arbitrary number, right? P also, well, there are some other conditions x and p uh, they belong to real numbers it doesn't have to be integer okay but k has to be an integer but x and p like sine x period 2 pi they are not integers they're real numbers it could be 3.14 like pi or it could be any number square root of 2 it could be any number, real number, okay? Imaginary number, we are, we are not ready to go there, okay? So you go ahead and do complex theory, okay? Application thereof, but we are not doing that now. Step by step, okay? So, okay, so X belongs to a real number set, so we'll rename it, okay? Let x prime is equal to uh is is x prime is belong to some real number and also x prime is equal to x plus p okay dot because x prime belongs to real number set we'll have f of x prime is equal to 
f of x prime plus some uh, we can call it p okay this x belongs to real number just like x it's x x prime that is arbitrary any random pick from real number set all right it can be any real number right and then period then f of x prime is equal to f of what is x prime x plus p x plus p right because x prime is x plus p and plus p is equal to f of x x plus 2p okay it's not quite giving the result that we want right we know k if k belongs to integer k minus 1 will also belong to integer okay so that we're gonna modify this a little bit uh we call we'll assign x prime as um because we want this two guy to become k all right so we have to design this proof all right we call this guy as x plus k minus 1p that's x prime okay Okay, so that's why it's equivalent. Or not yet. Okay, we are doing one direction, okay? If this guy is true, then that is, should be true, okay? So, we assume that fx is same as f, fx plus p, right? So, okay. Yeah, you know what? We'll do, we'll do both ways, maybe, okay? So, we'll just do one way, okay? Assume that fx is same as fx plus p, and then we want to prove that fx is same as fx plus kp. So we prove that one direction. Okay. Uh, the other direction. Uh, so yeah, we just prove this. Okay.
Yeah, at this x prime is we assume that it's real number. Okay, so then real number is closed in terms of operation of plus and multiplication. Okay, so uh, k belong to integer k minus one also belong to integer because integer is closed closed in terms of minus operation okay so meaning if you subtract two integers it will be also on the integer okay so <coughs> that's what closed means okay closed means in terms of the set theory all right so abstract algebra theory whatever It's time to take a break, yeah. The other direction, I don't know, okay. The other direction is actually the same. I mean, it, it, not the same, but it's simpler. Okay, so proof first, okay. First, left to right direction, okay? We proved it. Second, right to left direction, okay? It's even easier. Why? Because k belongs to integer, right? So uh, let k is equal to 1. Then, uh, right hand side, is equal to f x is equal to f x plus one times p, right? Which is equal to f x plus p. So f x being equal to f x plus p, this whole thing is same as left hand side. QED. by 1 and 2 yeah this whole thing by direction is now satisfied Q, QED double circle okay so uh, I won't take a picture of this <laughs> okay, so. we proved the bi directional if and only logical statement here Okay, that's the proof. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Man. And I do think it deserved to be written down. In my notebook, you know, LaTeX, LaTeX, text, tech. I don't know that language, okay? Because I'd rather learn foreign language than learning LaTeX, okay? I'd rather learn Russian or Italian, okay? Italian, I want to learn it. It's in my list. I'd rather learn those things rather than as opposed to learning LaTeX because LaTeX is very computer programming. I've done too much computer programming already, so over two decades, so I don't want to learn any more computer programming language. I don't want it, okay? So I'd rather want to learn foreign language. <gasps> Excuse me. Preliminary periodic function theorem. Writing down on my notebook, okay, so
Okay, we did it. Okay. We proved this thing and now we switch back to the the other board that we left behind and we finished the proof for periodic function theorem, okay? But before that, we're gonna take a break, okay? Because taking a break is a good thing, okay? It refreshes, give it a rest. Yeah, frequent breaks. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's passion. Sunday morning, man. Come on, give me a break. Give me some double breaks. Okay, yeah, we take a break, alright? So, yeah, why don't you take a look at this? Write it down, take a screenshot, whatever. Print it out, whatever you wanna do, okay? We take a break. Oh! I'm wait, wait, I'm looking forward to my breakfast. Before that, yeah, I do some dancing, okay? It's been a while. Alright. I'm gonna take my cell phone with me. So.
the back. Um, I'm chewing on this multivitamin gummy, doctor's order, right? Doctor's order. So I went to this annual physical in this veterans VA hospital. Doctor said my vitamin D3 level was way too high. So instead of taking two vitamin D3 gummy, take one. So I did that. Multivitamin, yeah, take two as usual. Sure. Okay, let's take a break from mathematics, okay? So, yeah, I wrote this down, so it's all good. Okay, it's all recorded. I took a picture of this shit and whatever, okay? So, we'll take a break from mathematics. Let's talk about politics. Let's fantasize, how about that? I, I love fantasizing, if it's still right away. Okay? Because most likely I'll never get there. Let's fantasize. Fiction writer, okay? On a debate stage between me and President Trump, okay? It'd be like, Tr President Trump, he would say, Oh, oh, you, you, you. Have you ever led a big organization like I have? I would say, No, sir. No, Mr. President. Okay, then how can you run a country as big as America? You have never had experience of running, leading a big organization. Yeah, Mr. Trump, uh, Mr. President Trump, uh, but I have led as a platoon guide, I led a company of maybe 30, 40, 50 soldiers, student soldiers. Okay. Yeah, I had some leadership experience. Hey, but there's only 30, 40, 50 people. It's not like 300 million people. I was a CEO of Trump organization. I led thousands of people. I exercised leadership over tens of thousands of people in, as a Trump company, corporation. It's a private corporation, okay, it's not public. But yeah, I have my leadership experience. After that, I led America, 300 million people. I created jobs, lowered unemployment rate, okay? What kind of experience do you have? You are not qualified to lead this nation. Oh, <coughs> Mr. Trump. I'm a huge fan of you, I, at least I used to be, but yeah, you led your company to bankruptcy. So if you get reelected, what are you going to do? Yeah, you lead America to bankruptcy, okay, so. And yeah, you may say I don't have any leadership experience of big organization, but I had experience of leading a small U.S. Army company as a junior enlisted soldier, and the principle is the same. Big organization, small organization, principle is the same, okay? Exercising leadership, if you ask me, because you asked me, so I'm gonna answer you, all right? Answer your question. I don't answer to you because I don't, I'm not your employee. Yeah, you are the president now in 2020 and I'm competing against you, so yeah, I accept your authority as the president of this country that I'm citizen of. But uh, you, your, access, your leadership is not good, okay? Mr. President, with all due respect, uh, you led this country to the wrong direction. Uh, you are not quite uniting the country because in America we have white people and non-white people, okay? And the only people that you really like in your heart is white people and Jews. Just like your son-in-law or your appointees. Yeah, they are white people or Jews. Okay, so that's 
Yeah, as a token appreciation, yeah, you hire some black people, okay, whatever. But, yeah, you are not quite uniting the United States, okay. But when I'm the president replacing you in 2021, January, I'm non-white, I'm ethnic, I'm brown, okay. And I love white people. I appreciate white people, so I can unite whites and non-white, non-whites in America. Okay, that's something only I can do as an ethnic person. Okay, Mr. President, uh, you just you are old old school. Yeah, I'm old school too, but you're older generation. Uh, it's time that you give away, give way to new generation. Okay, and that's me. I represent the future new generation. Okay, so it's time for you to yeah go back to crawl back or fly back to your Manhattan penthouse. You don't represent every Jamaicans. You're rich, okay, and you should not be the leader in twenty twenty one because you're obese. You're Fat. We do not want America to be a fat, obese country, workaholic, photo ops, you travel everywhere, you shake hands, you play golf, you go to on a vacation, you are obese, you have sex with multiple women, you are fat. We don't want that to be a role model for next generation of America, okay? America needs a leader like me. I exercise, I'm single. I'm not promiscuous like you are. I'm not luxurious, I'm frugal. I know how to save money. I work hard. I don't go to this old travel, this foreign country, shake hands, photo ops, <coughs> preaches, sermons, no. I will stay right here in the White House in Washington DC for four years. That's it. I'm not gonna seek, I'm not gonna run for the second term. Four years, I will be working very hard. After that, I'm done, okay? I'll do something else. So. Scene. Okay, it's fiction. It's a movie, acting, novel. Don't freak out. Okay, it's just fiction. Okay, it's fantasization. Sure, political fantasy. Okay. All right, we got this. Okay, so now switch it back. <sighs> Politics and mathematics. Who can do that? Only humanologists. Okay, because we know everything. We are descendant of descendants of Abraham. Okay, so gods, messengers, followers of Jesus. Yeah. Okay, we have we proved it, okay? We fucking proved it. So preliminary period function CRM, okay. Preliminary PID function theorem, okay, so we're gonna use it right here. <sighs> we'll take a break very soon, okay. So. We'll take a break now because my brain is overloaded with politics and mathematics. Come on. I need a break, okay? So let's take five minutes or ten minutes break and we get back and we we'll finish this. We may need another whiteboard, okay? So it's like <coughs> I need a break. <coughs> I'm drunk too. So 
I got my excuse. Mathematics, politics, vodka. Sunday morning, okay? It's too much. Take five, okay? Okay, we are back. Let me grab my cell phone because so I gotta look up something. Um, there is this artificial language. Um, what is Estonian or something? Artificial language? I forgot its name. Let me look it up, okay? So, artificial language. Okay, as usual, there's Wikipedia article about this. Something era, Estonian or Eratos, whatever. Uh, I forgot. I used to know.
No, this Wikipedia article is use, useless. Okay, so artificial language. Uh, this this eh, Esperanto. Estonia is a real country. Estonian language, I'm sure that's real. <coughs> Esperanto. Okay, so uh, that's artificial language. Okay. Yeah, there's some language clubs in America that speaks Esperanto. I heard about Esperanto when I was in Korea. Okay, it's artificial language. They came up with this brand new language. Like what? Lord of the Rings. The, this. I don't remember the author of that British professor. He came up with his, his own language. Lord of the Rings kind of language. Some, some language club, I'm sure they speak that language. Write that language too. So LaTeX, LaTeX by Professor Donald Donald Knuth is kind of LaTeX <coughs> artificial language. Any computer programming language is artificial language, right? It's made up their brand new vocabulary, grammar. Uh, Latin, Latin, Latin. I would not want to learn Latin, okay? Latin. I rather learn Italian. Because that's living, real language spoken by real people. And so la LaTeX, that's language for the scholars who want to publish journal articles. I don't want to learn it. Okay, uh, because yeah, it's a very powerful programming language. I, I get it, but I'd rather ro learn Russian, Italian. Okay, because... I just don't have time for it. Okay, I have learned enough computer programming languages, so I'm done with it. Okay, so I don't want it. All right. So we'll just write it down in paper and pe paper and pencil. Record this in YouTube. And that's it. Okay, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, I just don't have time. Okay, I don't think it's worthwhile to spend my time to learn that shit. Okay, LaTeX. I'm not going to. Okay, so if you. It's a great language by Professor Donald Knuth. I paid my due by purchasing his books for $200 in Amazon. That's all I'm gonna pay. My time is, I just don't have time. It's too, too precious, more pressure than learning this artificial language, LaTeX, LaTeX. You go ahead and publish this, whatever journal articles, okay? <coughs> I don't have time to translate this in LaTeX, learning a brand new language LaTeX. I, I know, I'm not doing it. Okay, so. All right, so let's continue, okay? So. Uh, we're gonna need brand new whiteboard, okay? So. Because we don't have enough space here, okay, so... <coughs> okay. Let's use this guy, okay, so... Horizontal period theorem. Well, we are done with it, so we can we are feel we feel free to erase this thing with, without thinking twice. Okay, so yeah, I knocked over that pen. Well, I pick it up. Okay. Periodic function theorem, okay. Left hand side is an equation.
right hand side is I don't dictate them, okay? So Proof. Uh. Let me get some more water. Ah, oh, boy. And I got a pee too. You can take five, okay? Okay, ah, of course, we have some conditions, right? Let's see how this black is doing. Ah. String of conditions, okay, so we have, man, P is, the, P is more than zero, period, okay, and we have X is equal to uh, PQ plus R and P is uh, so we don't need this condition then well Q belongs to some integer P is more than R R is 0 or above ok so that's that good <sighs> we got conserve space preserve energy copium ok Copium conservation theorem. Copium conservation law. Space is copium. It's something quantifiable and valuable. Okay, so. <coughs> <coughs> Am I aging? Yes. Am I dying? Hopefully not. Probably not. I don't think I'm dying. I'm healthy, okay? So I exercise. After this recording, yeah, I do some cardio, some dancing, okay, because yesterday I wasn't in the mood of dancing, okay, so. It's get rusty, yeah, I can do martial art, right, I've been doing a lot of martial art nowadays, but dancing, it's been a while, so it's get rusty and clunky, okay, so. After this re recording, I promise you, I will dance, or maybe during this recording, I'll dance a little.
Well, if we prove this yet. Oh, I love this blue. Very thick. I like that. Okay, first, we'll prove this <coughs> is a bi directional, right? We prove this left to right. <coughs> One direction. Okay, so. We are assuming this guy. Okay, and then we'll prove this guy. Okay, so. All right. X plus P. Just copying it down, okay. So, uh, PQ plus is equal to uh, P times Q plus 1 plus R. Okay? Period. <coughs> Yeah, I kind of got the feeling that we can prove this, but I'm not quite there. All right. I'm fumbling around, okay? So, I have to think about this shit. Where's my water, dude? I, I get pissed off when I don't have any water with me. I get really pissed. Why? I tell you why. Because when I deployed to Afghanistan, when I was a U.S. Army junior enlisted soldier, I had constipation. Okay, that's why I don't want to have any constipation because I it was pain in the ass when I was deployed to Afghanistan. Okay, it was very bad. I don't want to have that again. Constipation, hemorrhoid, anal fissure. I had hell of a time there, okay, so that's why I want water. Because I don't want to have constipation, okay. I had horrible experience with that. And I like it wet. My face, I wash my face, my hands a lot of times, okay, so yeah. And also water, drinking water is healthy, okay. I mean, as long as you don't drink too much. <sighs> okay. kind of got some idea, okay, so we have prelim preliminary periodic function theorem, right, so uh, f of this guy, oh, look at this green, it's strong too, so number one, we are doing this direction from left to right, okay, so uh, left hand side is equal to right of that and just by definition all right and this guy is equal to uh by uh preliminary preliminary prerequisite periodic function theorem <laughs> uh we assume this right fx is fx plus p so p is the period right and this is uh is equal to f of r because in preliminary preliminary periodic function theorem any term that contains p it can disappear because fx is, a, is equal to fx plus kp and k can be any integer it can be zero that's why just 
any term that contains p, it can just disappear. It can zero. It can zero out. The same as f r. Okay. Good. We are making very good progress. <coughs> okay. Now. Now. f of x rho p is equal to by definition by or by assumption okay yeah we, we can we can say by assumption okay by assumption yeah x is a pq plus r right And by uh, rho periodicity theorem that we proved long time ago, PQ it disappears because P is a divisor, right? So this is F of R rho P. Okay. And P is larger than R. R is smaller than P. So uh, this is by rho reduction theorem this is f of r okay well my goodness left hand side is whole thing okay this whole thing okay now Right hand side is this whole equation, string of equation, this paragraph, multiple sentences, multiple equation, multiple equalities, okay? Uh, <clears throat> there's some more, just one more term. Man, penny pinching. Counting every penny that comes in and out, uh, every paper, every inches of spaces. We have to do very small font, narrow font. Okay, now, right hand side is equal to F X is equal to this. E. I'm sorry. <coughs> There's one more, I'm sorry, my goodness. Oh. I am so sorry, okay, but it's just the way it is, all right? Uh. Eee. Ugly, right? Yeah, I know. I'm in pain too, okay? <laughs> Freaking F for fucking X. Fucking X, okay? This whole entire fucking thing is left hand side, okay? And that's the first proof, okay? From left to right direction, okay? So. So basically, what it boils down to is fx becomes fr on the left hand side. Right hand side, fx becomes fr. So we don't even have to do left to right or right to left, okay? And number one, number two, no. They are just equivalent, period. We don't have to do one direction first and the other direction, second. Uh, many times we have to do that. We did that in preliminary periodic function theorem. We did that. We did one direction, left to right, and the other direction, right to left, number one, number two. We did that. Sometimes you have to do it. 
but in this proof we didn't have to left hand side fx becomes fr right hand side fx becomes fr we didn't assume left hand side to prove right hand side we do not assume right hand side to prove left hand side so we don't have to do left side left direction right direction number one number two combine it we don't have to do that So we just need to say, therefore, uh, left hand side is equivalent to right hand side, QED. That's the proof. One, two, three, three line proof. Okay, so we got it. Okay, sometimes proof can be done in one line. I think we have done it before. Okay, you want to see? Okay. After break, uh, because we have a lot of theorem in Euclidean algebra, right? So we'll do one line of proof because they come in handy. Okay, so we didn't quite formally prove them, all of them. So we'll do a couple of one line of proofs. They're very cool. Okay. After break. Sunday morning, dude. What the hell am I doing? Mathematics, politics. We, at least we escaped politics, right? We are not talking about politics anymore. We are in mathematical la-la land. Paradise. Alright. Okay. Take five, okay?
give it a bag. So, uh, last night after the recording and after dancing, when I was having dinner, I watched some bear wildlife documentary. It was about Estonia. I did hear, of, I did hear about that country. Uh, so the name was not unfamiliar to me. It's like. Estonia is like North East Europe, just below Scandinavian countries like Sweden, Finland, Norway. <laughs> okay, Greenland, whatever. Okay, <coughs> and this Estonia and what Latvia and Litu <coughs> Lithuania or something. And there's some this region that's disconnected from main Russia, but still Russian territory. That was kind of interesting. Okay, so Latvia, Lithuania, and uh, Estonia. Yeah, I don't know too much about them, but I just learned. Okay, and there you have Belarus. Okay, and Ukraine. Okay, so. Uh, I'm ignorant. I'm still learning because the world of knowledge, world knowledge, uh, it's infinite. Well, maybe not infinite, but it's a lot. So we can always keep learning, and I am keeping. I'm continuing to learn, continuing to learn. Okay, so. <clears throat> so what did we just prove here? Yeah. Period, periodic function theorem, okay. I, I, th I think this is something really cool, okay. We connected periodicity, just generic periodicity, we connected that to row algebra, okay. So that's what we did. Now it's time for me to write this down. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a huge fan of writing things down, but it's easier than learning the latex, latex, I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah, maybe I should learn latex at one point. Okay, but I'd rather learn foreign language, like Russian. I'd rather study Russian, Italian, <coughs> Thai. Hindi, Chinese. Uh, Japanese, uh, yeah, well, not really. Do I want to, do I want to learn Japanese? If they repent, okay. If they start teaching their school kids about the past misdeeds of all this. Their ancestors, then maybe I will. Not before then. It's my way of protest as a Korean descent person, okay.
So writing this down, okay, so give me a second. Be patient. Very good, very good, very good. Oh. I can, as we can add one more thing, okay? P and R, they belong to real number set, okay? So, real number set, okay? So, Q has to be integer, but P and R, that doesn't, they don't have to be integer, okay? They can be real number set. I mean, real numbers, okay? P and R belongs to real number. Okay. Set. Right. We're done here, okay? So. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I promise you to do long, one line or theorems. Sure, one line proof. Okay. <clears throat> In Euclidean al algebra, okay. So uh, fourth column, right? So n e one. Okay. Prove n e one is equal to one. Okay, proof. N e one is equal to by uh, period Euclidean periodicity theorem. All right. You multiply n to one and you subtract it is zero e one by bigger number theorem okay bigger number theorem uh, is one e zero plus one This this guy is zero, okay. So because one e zero is equal to absolute value of one g zero, which by definition is one, okay. So the, how many Euclidean steps are there? None, okay. So this is by definition a zero plus one. Yeah, it's one, okay. So QED. One line of proof, okay? <clears throat> uh, uh, we call call this uh, N one N E one theorem, okay? Trademark, not really. N E one theorem, okay? Now, we have a couple more. One line of proofs, okay? We have N proof. We use different color, okay? So we use blue. These are, they are brand new patterns, so that's why it's so thick.
prove n e n is equal to what? I think it's one. You could leave a triangle, I, I think so, okay, so, now proof. <sighs> NEN is equal to, by Piaget's uh, theorem, right? Subtract, well, we can call it subtraction theorem, right? Subtraction theorem. 0 e n sure bigger number theorem right bigger number theorem n e 0 plus 1 By definition, okay, is one. QED. And we call it a N E N theorem. It's not trademark, okay, it means theorem. N E N theorem, okay, so. Alright. You know what? N E one is core. Kind of, uh, no, 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 it's not corollary, it's not that different because n doesn't have to be one. Okay, so uh, here n can be any number, here n. Uh, this is like row column, so first column is all one, but any n is just the diagonal in Euclidean triangle is all ones. Okay, so that two different theorems. Okay. We can call it fourth column theorem. It's all one. We can call this main diagonal diagonal theorem. Okay, so okay. Uh, we'll rename this fourth column theorem. Okay, this guy main diagonal theorem. Okay, we have to name this correctly, right? Properly. Yeah. Ah, uh, we've been using this. Okay, we use we call this zero e n theorem. Okay, zero e n theorem. Proof. Zero e n is equal to zero, right? Okay. Proof. Let's prove it. Zero e n is by definition absolute value how many euclidean steps does it take okay so zero g n okay if we divide zero by n what's the remainder zero because zero is a multiple of n why because n times zero is zero okay zero is multiple of any other any numbers okay so uh if you divide that yeah the remainder is zero okay so okay so this is by definition this is equivalent to Ah, no, 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 I'm sorry, I missing one step, okay, so, let's say n is larger than zero, okay, well, n is larger than zero, strictly, okay, <clears throat> actually, this guy is one, we call it zero n theorem, okay? Zero e n theorem, okay? So <coughs> this guy is equal to 
one line of proofs, okay, uh, by uh, bigger number theorem, okay, so because we have condition that n is more than zero. Bigger number theorem, n is zero plus one, uh, which is equal to by we don't want to call it by definition actually we, we call it by n e zero theorem okay n e zero theorem which you will prove next okay sorry n e zero theorem new easy now we want to prove it's a half line proof it's not even one full line okay so we want to prove our, another thing this guy neo zero proof okay this is not all is zero okay note whatever proof n e 0 is equal to 0 okay here's proof n e 0 by definition is absolute value of n g o non-governmental organization right so by definition this is 0 no this is n okay in euclidean algorithm okay <coughs> how many equal equality how many euclidean steps are there none zero purity okay so okay the, the neo we call it neo theorem okay neo n e zero neo theorem this we call it Neo theorem, right? So this is E O N theorem, uh, O E N theorem, O N O N O N theorem, okay, zero E N. Okay, we call it O N theorem. O N theorem. Okay. One liners, half liners, okay. Now I need to write this shit down. There probably are some more, okay, so how about one E N or two E N even? Uh yeah. We can go on and on with this, but <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. So let me do, let me write this down, okay? I'm getting sleepy.
OEN is, sounds like ON, which is an English name. Right. Okay, that's it. I'm way too sleepy, okay, so I gotta go to bed, I gotta sleep. I'm not gonna eat, I'm not gonna dance, I just fall asleep, okay, this I'm just sleepy. Way to sleep, okay. Thank you. Uh we may do some one line or proofs, okay, like when one something like one E N, right? One E N and also 2 EM, okay, so uh, which is 1, which is 2, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's call it an episode, okay? I'll see you t later today. Thank you, bye.